Yo, today's intro. Fuck it. You already clocked in. Ah! Time to clock in. Right, so, you miss it. so you can't have him anymore. <laughs> 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 Your breath is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Wow, nice. Jump him. Get off here. Give me a fucking wedgie. Welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we. It's time to clock in. It's gonna be a ah! This is gonna be a bit of a high energy episode, guys. We're back in Salt Lake City. Yo, yo, how many times do I have to say when I shoot, all the other cameras go off? Oh. What? You think it's funny? It's a content embargo. Turn that shit the fuck off. Turn them off. So Who I the wanted, fuck is that kid? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out my. Figure out what? Stuff, my just, Would you give me an answer, kid? You're just standing in the parking lot. I kill a lot of girls. What? You got a lot of he girls? No, I was, I was talking to like three girls. I'm like. What? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> We're in Park City. It's a quaint little town. Jake and Logan are on the way here. We have like two or three houses. We're shooting impulsive episodes, but I also brought a squad of fucking lunatics. Also, I do want to call out the fact that I once again have, uh, what are they called, road men? I got the tech fleece on. Because they always say, Mike got the tech fleece on. He's one of us, mate. <laughs> I love the UK, bro. And now that I'm friends with KSI, I can see nothing but green pastures and blue skies for me in the UK. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure you out. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? <laughs> What are you? What's your deal? I'm Steve. I don't really... I, what? <laughs> <laughs> the Dobre brothers are trending right now because they posted a video. Click baiting, my twin brother is dead. <laughs> that's a good idea. I love them? That's that's a no. Why no, would you do that? On. That's not why I'm saying it. That's no. amazing. Why are we not no, coming no, up? No, 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 no. It's got two million views in five oh, days. I didn't know that. <laughs> Click the video, maybe he's actually dead. If it wasn't clickbait and this was the thumbnail, I'd <laughs> fucking lose it. <laughs> hello. That's it? You just say hello? <laughs> Yo, can I ask you about your, Yo, your shirt real quick? Imagine out of nowhere he goes, yeah, man, I got sent out to kill this dude Marcus Dobre. <laughs> man, I took care of that <laughs> And now a word from our sponsors. Okay, as you guys know, 2020 was a big year for my love life, and I was in a happy relationship. Now, what you guys might not know is at the end of 2019, right before I met my future ex-girlfriend, I started a subscription to Scentbird, which had me smelling fresh as fuck. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription company that allows you to shop from over 600 brands of colognes and perfumes from companies like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. Okay, so as you can see, I started my Scentbird subscription right here, and my relationship started only a month later, right there. And since you can switch up your fragrance every month to always be smelling new and fresh for as low as 16 bucks, my relationship floors for over eight months. Then, due to an unfortunate error with my checking account, my Scentbird subscription was canceled, and a month later I was smelling terrible, and my relationship was ruined. Now, luckily, the good news is I did have my Scentbird subscription reinstated, and my love life has been heating up along with it, which the graph once again proves. So, moral of the story is there's a direct correlation between smelling good and satisfying the people around you, which is why I recommend Scentbird to anybody who's looking to fall in love or stay in love. This month, I got hooked up with some fresh scents from Burberry and Hugo Boss, which both smell amazing. And you can too when you use my code Mike55 for 55% off your first subscription at Scentbird at the link in the description below. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the night shift, baby. Wow, this is some stunning fucking architecture, dude. It's like an episode of Cribs that we don't own. Holy oh. shit, no, George! I don't spend money on cribs usually, but we dropped a little bit of dough on this one. <laughs> Me and Jeff, well, everybody kind of threw it on it. This is fucking dope. Let's go! And it's hot. It is hot! Sorry. What are the odds you right now you strip down naked, jumping in the snow? Three, two, one, seventeen. 17. <laughs> you said you wanted content, God, bitch! Yeah. Run. Ah. Let's go! Mike! 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 Yeah! Oh, oh shit! Fuck! Mike, Mike! Bro, you fell down like a senior citizen. I think you shattered your hip. <laughs> That was the lamest way to jump. Ice. You can't jump into it. It's I straight haven't ice. seen this Not much me. powder on him. <laughs> I thought you were in Houston. I was. Have whatever you want. The house is yours. The only thing I'll ask of you if you take the food is, is there any chance you have any prime on you? Oh, uh, yeah. This has what, like 825 milligrams of electrolytes in it? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, my best friend's a commercial. Don't even ask, you've done so much for me, it's the least I can do is make sure you win hundreds of billions of dollars, Thank bro. you. But it's not about the money, Mike. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we, we devour. <laughs> Where's the first time we all ever hung out, the three of us? Whoa! Hey, buddy, let go of my egos. Are you high or No, he's fine. Thing. Shut up, George! <laughs> Where's the first place we ever hung out? Park City, Park, Park City, City, Utah. Five years ago. Almost to the day. Yep, roll the clip. My boy, we brought you 
Breakfast in bed. No catches. We're not pranking you. It's food. <laughs> Enjoy. Just Come on, eat it! You ungrateful son of a bitch! No, no, no. Let's try to give it to Alyssa. Man. Alyssa, we didn't want to give this to anyone else. This was just for you. Like That's I made this. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna give this straight to Alyssa. straight to Alyssa. That's so sweet. Welcome. You're just boy number 18 on this trip. Sausage Fest 2022. <laughs> hey guys, we got another dick in the house. Who wants to stroke it, bro? Even when I'm not rating burgers, I'm cooking burgers, bro. Here's the thing. Logan shows up sometimes. He's like, bro, I'm so hungry. If I don't fucking eat something right now, I'm gonna fucking lose my fucking mind. Oh, thank you for Mike. Let's bite into it. I need a rating. Seven? <laughs> so oh, take wow. it. Yeah. Who's yeah. fucking with the fucking oh, lights? Oh, oh, you come here, you ask for food, you fuck with the lights, I'm shooting. What the fuck are you fucking oh, doing? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Thanks a lot, Kev. All right, just, no, shut it, no, forget it. That's my favorite. He's got a neck vein, it's sexy. MLK day, we out here. I have to my nigga. Park City. <laughs> <laughs> Peter is a full on rookie. He's never skied before, and so what do we do with first time skiers? Right. We bring him straight to the top of the fucking mountain, to the <laughs> summit. Yeah, if you don't really get a chance to say anything to the night shift, very often. You don't have anything you really want to say. I a grinder. I missed the night shift. Hey, shut up! Nah, this nigga rolling booth ass joints, bro. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Look at my yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Look at your shit. Yeah. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah. Look at this shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Pussy. Yo, oh, that's fuck. I'm uh, throwing your shit out the window. Throw it. Oh! Oh shit. On a brand new Gucci outfit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Pete, yo, look at this part right here. Yo, oh. Pete. <laughs> Pete, when you look over that, what are you thinking That's of yourself? White people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, why would they put us on the cable? We're out here at the top of canyons right here. And uh, we're about to drop in on this black diamond. And I think it's now another perfect. We're about to get fucked up for that one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's time for another cinematic montage here on the night shift. But these people are actually from Canada. This is Riley. I think she might have took one too many, potentially too many shots. Are you okay? <laughs> she goes, I'm good. And this is Jamie. She's here from, from Vancouver. She's a real sweetheart. I noticed her Instagram. She was very pretty, but also looked like an intellectual. So we had them come out here to join us for a Park City weekend. Fuck these niggas. Fuck these bitches. And lastly, fuck these hoes. Oh my God. Uh, I got WPS report. No, no, no. It's right here. It's right here. Keep forgot this thing called WPS. It means white people shit. Box stabbing. No, no. Guess who it was? Who? It was me, actually. I was like this. Look. This is your guy, this is your man. WPS activity, high alert. Yeah, you know what time it is. Prime well, time. <laughs> How you feeling today? Good, why? Just curious, we have a podcast with Antonio Brown right now, your mortal enemy. Uh, not anymore, not anymore. Today we squashed the beef, I think. How much do you think I can make in 30 a seconds? Lot. Probably not could, as could much as our guest. guest. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Antonio fucking Brown. Let's go. Let's go! All right, we out here in Mill Creek, Utah. We just checked out of the house in Park City. Looks like a little bit of an industrial town, to be honest with you. Hardworking people, construction, that type of thing. Everybody says this is like the heart of Utah, Crown Burgers. There's a bunch of locations. I'm a little bit scared. Top, right the outside of the place. Right, I'm gonna give it a fucking solid four and a half. Here's the issue. We went in there, the entire staff knew who we were. So I would say whatever score I give it today, bump it probably down like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, because they definitely put a little extra ah, in there. You know what I'm saying? We're actually now joined by Buster Rhymes. Bust a bus. <laughs> oh. I know we ain't reviewing chicken, but my nigga, my nigga. Okay. This shit is brittle and brittle. I don't know about that. They knew which one was mine. Todd, this actually looks kind of gas, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Through the double burger, it's just straight Thousand Islands. Nothing special about the they sauce. American good. cheese, lettuce, tomato. Do they deserve the crown? That's the question. Three, two, one, go. It's a hair. It's a hair. No shot. No shot. I told you she didn't have her nah, fucking nah, net nah. all the way on. That's a cotton from like a hoodie or some shit. That would be what we call instant disqualification. <laughs> Tav, I need you to confirm was it a hair or something from a hoodie? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I have no idea. It. We have to rerun it back to see. <laughs> so we're going to say that it looks like a hair from a hoodie, some sort of microfiber. We're going to keep the review going. All right, so right off the bat, it's very meaty. All right, with all due respect, I grew up on Carl Jr. This tastes like a fucking famous star. We got a thicker cut uh, shoestring or like a steak fry kind of. People were very nice. But as Tom said, I could never put it on the same level as like uh, any of the LA shops. Can I get a, Can I get a celebrity bite, uh, honorary bite? Just grab oh, that side right there. 
That doesn't even fucking count as a bite. You got okay. a piece of bread here. Give a real fucking okay. bite, James. Don't fuck around. Get in there. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, Crown Burger, the palace of uh, Salt Lake City. I'm gonna give it a 5.6. 5.6. Take off your crown. Did he talk shit while What's I was out here? Hey, waiting outside for an hour. You see the smoke coming out of my mouth? Okay, hot shot. Who's the one that booked the car at a rental place that's closed for the return? You're wrong. Who's the guy that left stuff in my car and didn't tell me and called me last minute, but we still came to drop it off? That's two rights. Two wrongs for you right, so far. So two wrongs. See, you don't even know what English is, bro. Two I rights for you to be at the budget rental you. car. Listen, your boy, listen, your boy, your listen, navigator listen. is a TikTok star. Now he's the next Yo, one. I seen someone ask you for an autograph earlier, bro. No, no, no that's the navigator. I'm the driver. Damn. Don't yell at me. Yo, I feel for you, bro, that you have to deal with him. Everybody's always wrong, and he's always right. I've had enough of all these people. That's it for this week's episode of The Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking the fuck out. Peace! Mike, you savage such a fuck. You put all that seasoning on it. That seasoning was dog food, you fuck. It was better the second time. <laughs> you fucking hit my face. Now you're getting it. Get in his face. <laughs> You've heard of Harry Potter, right? So do you think you're a wizard? Do I look like to you a Slytherin? I think you look like more of a muggle, but do you think you have- Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's see if you have wizard powers. She's an eagle owl. She has about a six foot wingspan, so command her to open her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know this. Oh! Oh, oh my God, he's a wizard. Oh, how did he do that? Put the camera away, it's done, it's over. <laughs>